Lucid Spark's new import tool for Jamboard is now live. Let's see how it works. When you go into your Lucid account, go into Lucid Spark board import, you'll see a Jamboard option. The first time you do this, you'll need to authenticate. Once you accept all permissions, you can go ahead and choose one or more. If you would like to select multiples, just hold down the shift key and you'll be able to select multiples. It will take a little bit longer to import, of course, so I'm going to just do one for this example. Once it's finished importing, you can view the document and you can see here that I did have multiple slides in this Jamboard. It pulled in all of the different slides. This first slide was actually intentionally blank if you're wondering why that looks like that, but everything imported perfectly. You'll see that it didn't just import, everything is in fact still editable. So that is really wonderful that you have not just your Jamboards as images to reference, but they are actually Actually editable in Lucid Spark. If you're looking for more details, you can go to the help article on Lucid directly and you can see how this works. You can import a jam just like I've just shown. There's also the option to insert a jam as just an image if you just want to archive old things, but I thought the one that is most useful is to actually import it as an editable file so that I can use it again in the future. Note that I showed how you could select multiple files by holding down the shift key. While you're selecting, you can also import all of them by hitting Control A or Command A and selecting all your jams. You just want to make sure that you have enough time if you are doing that bulk import. All right, I hope this quick little preview was helpful. Again, it's as easy as new Lucid Spark board import and you can pull in from Jamboard right there. Bye for now.